morning, Arden Panthers. Welcome back to our seventh week of school. My name is Lena. And I'm Kaylee. And, and here are your morning announcements. Arden will be doing a community service project. We will be supporting the Mustard Seed School for homeless children. We are collecting non-perishable food to help their students. This is your time to show your support to the community and donate. Look for donation boxes in your first period classroom. It's not too late to join Arden's cross country team. Practices are every day after school and competitions are on Wednesdays against other schools. The first cross country meet has taken place. Here is the scoring for Arden's racers. Sixth grade girls, Ava C came in first. Sixth grade boys, Alex H came in fifth. Seventh grade girls, Sophia A, third place. Seventh grade boys, Trey S came in first place. Parker L. S. came in second place. Eighth grade girls, Caroline S. second place, Brooke S. third place. Eighth grade boys, Aiden F. second place. Live in-person spirit activities will be happening after school on Fridays. Student leadership will be looking for a small group of students to participate in after school spirit games. The games will be live streamed on Arden's Instagram. Virtual Spirit Fridays are still happening during lunch. Join us on Fridays at 11.15. Zoom code in Spirit Central. However, there is a return in in-person Spirit Fridays. This will happen each week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Leadership will be looking for a small group of students to participate each week. The games will be live streamed on Arden's Instagram for everyone to watch the fun. Look for details about volunteering in Spirit Central or ask a leadership member. We have the roar drawing to show. Roll, Roll the, the clip. clip. Good morning, Panthers. Hope we're having a great day. Uh, we're going to find five lucky winners this week for the roar drawing. First lucky winner is Caroline Nilo. Next lucky winner is Mushi. Our next lucky winner is Violet G. And our next winner is Jackson Polario. And our final winner of the week is Jared A. All right, Panthers, check those emails so you can claim your prize and have a great rest of your week. Science Olympiad has been an extracurricular option for Arden students in many years past. It's a competitive sport, but it's a competitive sport where you're using your brain instead of um, athletic ability. So if you are interested in joining Science Olympiad for the 2021-2022 school year, there is a simple application process. Is students have to fill out an application in, in the fall. It's September, October is when the applications come out and you have to fill out why, why you think you'd make a good teammate and, and what experience you have, what, what things you, you would have to bring to the team. And then we go through a, a paper screening process and we, we look at your references, which would be teachers and, and talk to your science teachers and your math teachers and your, your English and history teachers, see what kind of student you are. And then we put together a team of responsible students who, who want to do well. And then, and then from there, we have a big pool of students and then we, we pair them down to um, our main A competing team and then, then the B and C teams, which are also um, experience le level teams. And then we try to get as many students experience as we can. As a science Olympiad, you have so many options for events that you can choose. Students are studying science and all, all variations of science, physical science, life science, earth science, 
um, building technology, computers, stuff like that. Science Olympiad has a lot of a wide range of, of topics to to um, interest people who are interested in in science. And students don't come in knowing all this stuff. They come in with an interest in it. For more information on how Arden Science Olympiad did this year, or for information on how you can join Science Olympiad for next year, go see Mr. Martinez in room seven or email him. The virtual talent show is almost here. Stay tuned for details. If you have not selected your classes for next year, go to the office for more information. The club directory is posted on the Arden webpage and in Spirit Central. The club directory lists all of the club's meeting days and times in the Zoom at the scheduled time. For more information, check it out. On June 3rd, there will be a drive-by promotion for all 8th graders. We have the Panther of the Week to show. Roll the clip. Hey Panthers! My name is Samaya Ayala and I'm your Leadership Historian. And today for our Panther of the Week we have Kylie Dennis. How do you feel? Good. That's great to hear. Now for our first question. What is something you think everyone can learn? To be nice to others. I agree. Second question. What is the sport that you play? I play cheer and softball. And what positions? In softball, I play pitcher. In cheer, I, I'm a flyer. Pretty cool. And for our last question, what is something that helped you through quarantine? My dogs. And what breed are your dogs? A, I have two boxers and a Frenchie. And now for a random act of kindness. Kylie is going to pick a card. What does it say? It says, give someone an air fist bump. You heard it, everyone. Make sure to give someone an air fist bump and make sure to have a great day. Peace out, Panthers. Wearing a mask is one of the most important things you can do to protect yourself and others at school during this pandemic. You will know if you're properly wearing your mask if it covers your nose, mouth, and chin, resting on your nose bridge. If you need to take a drink of water, have your water bottle handy before you take off your mask. If you take off your mask for an unnecessary reason, you'll get a warning from the teacher that caught you. Remember to stay safe. For more information on mask wearing, go to www.cdc.gov. Want a yearbook? Purchase one now or you won't get one. Are you or a friend interested in signing up for the Rio Cheer Team? Sign-ups have ended and tryouts are the week of May 24th. This week is campaign week. Students running for office will be campaigning on campus and on social media. Elections will be this Friday the 14th. Pay attention to all of the candidates' speeches and vote for the best candidate on election day. Is that it for the week? I think it is. Peace, Peace out, Panthers! Panthers.